Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 1027 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm trying out this Elia Color Block High Impact Lipstick that I got in my November 2020 BoxyCharm Premium Box. And I've heard of the brand Elia, but I don't think I really tried many, if any, products from this brand. But I am so excited too because it sounds amazing. It says it's high pigment, long wearing, and hydrating, which are things I really look for in my lipsticks. It's crafted by hand, which I find very interesting. It's made with organic castor seed oil. It's cruelty free. It says it also has nourishing botanicals of mango seed butter, apricot oil, and vitamin E. And I got this in the shade Rosette. So let's check it out. Beautiful packaging, it feels luxurious. So the retail value on this is $28. So to me, that is expensive and luxurious for one lipstick, $28. Oh yeah, and I remember when I got this and I first looked at it, it has like these little, spots on it. It kind of looks like waxiness. Let me show you. You see those little spots on it? I'm a little concerned, but not really. It's probably just the way the product dried. So I'll do a little swatch and that'll come off. Ooh, that is super pigmented. And I love this shade and I like the shape of it, how it's very pointy. So that will make it nice and precise to apply. And my lips, no surprise, are dry. So I'm really interested to see how comfortable and hydrating this really is. So let's go for it. Oh wow, they say full pigment in one swipe and that is true. I love a full pigmented lipstick and I love this color. This is definitely the type of color that I am drawn to and that I feel like I have a lot of in my collection, but that's okay because it is a shade that I like to wear a lot. It's similar to my natural lip shade, but it's definitely more enhanced. So I just feel like it's a very comfortable shade for me. I can wear it day or night with a bunch of different types of makeup looks. And yeah, you seriously only need this one layer and the color is even, it didn't cling to any dry patches. It looks really smooth, it's not showing texture. I think it really is beautiful. It feels comfortable on my dry lips. It's not the most hydrating lipstick ever. I still have kind of like a lot of lines in my lips, but at least it's not clinging to any dry patches and it did hydrate my lips still. It has kind of a matte finish. Like it still looks creamy, but I feel like it's kind of dried down. I feel like it's very secure. So I want to do a kiss test and see how much transfer there is. Hmm. I was kind of expecting less transfer, just of how secure it feels on my lips. Oh, but it looks so good still. Very intact. And that's only with the one layer, but it's that pigmented that even with all that transfer, it looks like it hasn't faded at all. So it really is going to be long lasting. So for tomorrow, Thanksgiving meal, this actually will probably last for a while. I think I would still have to touch it up after all of the eating and drinking on Thanksgiving, but I actually do think that this is a good lipstick option. It's so quick and easy to touch up. You just need that one quick swipe. So I am impressed by this. I'm glad that it kind of lives up to its high price point. I really have no complaints with the formula or the application. It's a really beautiful lipstick. Let me know if you've tried any other products from the brand Elia, which I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I would love to know which ones are your favorites, which ones you would recommend. So let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.